Good morning, St. Matthews. Well, today we're here, um, an interview with a difference. And actually, this feels like an answer to prayer because we've got Anna Claire Kibben, who is joining us as our youth work apprentice, and she starts tomorrow. Welcome, Anna Claire. Hi, everybody. It's nice to finally be seen, I guess, <laughs> and finally get ready to start my new journey. Absolutely. Welcome to St. Matthews. And we're looking forward to this exciting new season, especially for the youth. So as we start um, our interview, Anna Claire, it'd be lovely to get to know you. So why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself and how you got interested in youth work? So I'm Anna Claire and said I have been attending St. Matthew, uh, attending St. Margaret, sorry, for uh, the last 18, 19 years. I started with the youth work there four years ago and I have been part of building up the re-youth team at St. Margaret's which is the St. Margaret's and St. Andrew's Parish. I have enjoyed working there immensely. And so I have continued to start my own path in youth work. So um, for the last seven years, I've been um, working as a chef and I have, I thoroughly enjoyed that, but unfortunately that had to come to an end. And so starting youth work was really like the next kind of thing that, you know, sparked joy in me, really. So I when the opportunity to become and start an apprenticeship in youth work and I got paired with St. Matthews, it just seemed like the perfect opportunity. Yeah. Thank you, Anna Claire. We are so grateful for that opportunity as well. And when Ignite get together, obviously, normal times, food is such an important part. So I'm sure they're going to be delighted to hear about your, um, your culinary skills. So yeah, that's, that's going to be really welcome. Yeah. Go on. Uh, yes, yeah, so I've been a chef for seven years since I was 16. So I'm hoping we can, you know, enjoy some good meals together and get together soon. Yeah, that'd be lovely. So we'd like to get to know you some more. And I was thinking, how about we hear about some of your favorites? So maybe what's your favorite pastime? Um, so my favorite pastime would have probably been going to like the cinema with my family. <clears throat> I've, had, I've got quite a few siblings so if we could we always had the enjoyment of getting like lots of sweets and going to the cinema and seeing whatever the picture of the week was it was great I love that was probably my some of my fondest memories having wow. a rainy Saturday afternoon at the cinema oh that sounds lovely now of course that's normal times what is your favorite lockdown activity uh, my favourite lockdown activity, probably between me and my partner, we have played quite a lot of Scrabble. I've become a quite good at Scrabble. I never used to be, so I've enjoyed that a lot. Yeah. Um, I've done a lot of cooking, a lot, a lot of cooking for me and my family. So spending time with them, we have done jigsaw puzzles together. We've eaten fantastic meals together and we played badminton when the weather was good so those were just some of the activities I loved doing during this time definitely got into Scrabble being up there <laughs> I yeah. definitely enjoyed a lot of Scrabble <laughs> okay yeah lockdown sounds pretty exciting your end um, <laughs> how about favorite foods so I don't have favorite food specifically but um depending how i'm feeling i have favorite cuisines so at the moment um i like cooking mexican and that's probably my favorite at the moment okay um, yeah i'd like to change a lot <laughs> depending sounds, how i'm feeling yeah sounds exciting maybe we'll get some recipes off you even <laughs> um anna claire how about a favorite bible verse uh, so my favorite bible verse is the one that I think recognize like definitely 
has stayed within me a lot. Um, so it would be Philippians 40, 4, sorry, 4 to 13, which is I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. Mm. And I think that just resonates with having the strength of a parish behind you, having the strength of faith and having the strength of God who's always there by your side. Mm. So I think that just always stays with me in the whole idea of being part of something as well mm. oh that that is a beautiful verse um and seems so pertinent for these times so you know we're living in these these unprecedented times um how have you managed to stay focused and to look after yourself i've done a lot of things and it's been hard work to definitely try and keep yourself like grounded almost so keeping a routine being active and really trying to spend some time with my family even if it's just time where you're not speaking and you're just doing things like a jigsaw puzzle it was really nice to just sit there next to somebody not have to say too much but you're both doing something that your mind's so focused on so and then we've been like I said we've been playing a lot of different games such as Scrabble and Trivial Pursuit so having a Wednesday night games night was always good fun and then trying to do a cinema night where somebody would suggest a film and you get to see what other people like because often we forget as family that although you know we know each other sometimes we don't get to in enjoy others experiences so it was really nice to share things that we all enjoyed individually and share them with one another so I've definitely enjoyed that also trying to just make sure you get some fresh air do that take as long as the walk as you can so mm. definitely enjoying some really nice walks that I've not done before and definitely like I said earlier eating a lot of good food with enjoying a meal each day with your family it brought us all together at the end of each day and we were all able to enjoy the food and have a conversation so that was always that kept me yeah kept me sane and grounded during lockdown to have them around yeah you've got some great tips for us there Anna Claire <laughs> um so now turning to this new season that you start tomorrow with Ignite what are your hopes and your desires for Ignite so I would say that some of my hopes for Ignite would be that obviously to reunite soon, as soon as we can with as many with, within reason. Um, so I'm hoping we can reunite. And once we reunite, I'd hope we can grow together as a group. So I hope that I fit in and we could fit in nicely so we gel together very well so I hope we can grow together and we can grow in faith together because I did my own I was in my own youth group and it meant so much to me at that time to have other people who had the same faith as I and then I hope that they will continue to stay with us and grow up with us and then even become members of the church and even possibly help with the next lot of youth youth group who come in so it's really good to have people who have used the group themselves and gone and then to give back what they got themselves so that would be really nice to have some of them come and help in the future mm -hmm. Hope, hopefully we can all get back together soon yeah those those sound like amazing different things that you've uh, that you've set out and that you know god has in store for ignite along with you um any particular things that we can pray for um as a community Anna Claire? so uh, obviously i would like to pray for the kids going back to school and that they're all safe during this time i know that going back to school can be a bit nerve-wracking when you're not really sure what's going on i can the anxiety behind returning to school i can't imagine how they must be feeling so i hope 
that they know that we're here praying and trying to have their best interests mm. um i would also like to pray for our youth workers especially laura and jaunty now so and their little girl mm-hmm. very pleased for them and um i would like to pray for our group back to be back together that's i can't wait to finally meet everybody it's going to be very exciting mm. so yeah those okay. are some of the things i'd like to pray for <laughs> i'm yes. sure there's a lot longer list sure absolutely um anna claire would it be okay if we took um just a, uh, just a little while now to pray yeah okay um heavenly father we thank you for this time and we thank you for your answer to prayer in anna claire father we look forward to this new season um especially for our young people father we thank you that you are a god of hope and a god of promise so with um, Anna Claire, we pray that Ignite will be reunited in person, that they will grow together, oh Father, grow in their faith, grow as a community. And Father, we pray for the, the leadership team of Ignite. We pray for Anna Claire, we pray for Charlie, we pray for Laura and Jonti, and especially their gift of baby Effie. Father, we pray that you will be with the children and the young people as they go back to school and that you will keep them safe. And Father, we pray that Ignite will be a place that that they want to come to and where they will meet with you. So bless this new season, for we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Um, I know it's going to be a little bit strange because we're not going to necessarily get to see you in person as we would if we were in normal times. But Anna Claire, it's so lovely to have you on board and we look forward to everything that God has in store. Yeah, I can't wait to meet everybody. It's going to be such a beautiful new experience. Thank you very much for your time today and God bless you. Thank you.